To get your case featured, contact us through SMS line 2144. You can make a call on 020-250-2880. Everywhere, GBS. Hello, viewer, and thank you very much for joining us on The People Show today. Today, we have with us in studio a very special guest. Special in this way, the topic that we're going to discuss today is actually a topic that many people think is just usual, but I don't think so. From what I've learned this morning, actually, before the show began, is that this topic is more to do also with your health than just as many people view it as a bodily fitness thing. With us in studio today is a very special guest, Philip Namasaka, the director and founder of Phil Fitness Center. Philip, Karibu sana. Uh, thank you very much, Timothy. Yes. Thank now, you very much. In this show, our tradition is uh, we give our guests a chance to just give us, run us through a short background about themselves, where they grew up, what kind of childhood they had as they were growing up. Thank you very much for the mm -hmm. chance. Mm -hmm. Morning, viewers. My name is Philip Namasaka, mm -hmm. and I'm a fitness guru. Eh? Mm -hmm. Grew up in western part of the country in Mumias. Uh -huh. I went to school in Mumias Central. Then from there, I went to Nairobi School. And uh, been a sports person, played rugby with Ulinzi. That was some years back. I'm not young. <laughs> Which is that? <laughs> that is 2001, Whoa. 2002, 2003. Yes, I played with Ulinzi. Then uh, I got interest because um, I got injured as a player uh -huh. and I could not play so during the rehabilitation, when I went for the physio sessions, All right. it just triggered something that I'd, I was not even aware. Uh -huh. So I loved the machines, and from there I got interested into fitness. I loved it, and I went even to there's courses you can do online. Mm -hmm. So I was able to do one, a certificate as a trainer, which was from the American Council on Exercise. Mm -hmm. That was the start. That uh -huh. is what triggered. From there, I went on into bodybuilding. Uh -huh. I even contested at the Mr. Kenya level, I became third in the heavyweight category, that's years back. Huh? Now, that's quite interesting because when you say that you, you know, there are courses that people can take online yes. on issues to do with fitness, yes. uh, and especially fitness coaching, yes. many people think that, you know, gym, you know, you go there, chopper weights, and <laughs> <laughs> that's how people perceive gym. Is that, is that really fitness, body fitness? Bodily fitness? Sadly, 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 that's what people think, mm -hmm. and and sadly, that's what's going on. Okay. You know, you walk into most of these gyms, and a fitness trainer, who's supposed to help you? Let's say Timothy, you've been sent by a doctor. Yes. You've gone for a medical assessment. Mm -hmm. The doctor tells you you need to, or the doctor tells you you have high cholesterol levels and you need to do something mm -hmm. about it. The doctor tells you there's chances or you are at risk of high blood pressure mm -hmm. or diabetes and you need to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And um, the misconception is that um, you walk into most gyms, people just think a gym is a place where you just need to lift you the weight. Lift weight yeah. But it's a science that people need to understand. Eh? Right. I need to be knowledgeable as a trainer mm -hmm. to be able to help you, to be able to work with your doctor mm -hmm. and say, this is what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. eh? This is a program. This person is here to reduce weight. Another person walks in with an injury. They need to rehabilitate that mm -hmm. injury. Another person walks in to reduce, or to add their weight, sorry. Mm -hmm. One is to reduce, some are very small, some, uh -huh. they are overlooked. So they want to, so add. They want to <laughs> add some weight. So there's different reasons to it. Then an athlete walks in and they want to improve on the performance, on how they perform. Mm -hmm. So these are four different categories yes. who you can't give the same program. All right. So as a fitness trainer, it's important that you're knowledgeable so that you can offer safe, safe, safe training to the client who's walking in, mm -hmm. depending on their needs. Because oh. people walk in with different needs. Mm -hmm. We are all different. As you walk into a facility, the same way you go into a, a hospital mm -hmm. and you have a headache, someone has a, 
stomach ache, mm -hmm. someone has, you know, a joint issue. Mm -hmm. So it's all different. So what you're trying to tell me is that a gym, in my own observation, yes. is like a, a pharmacy. Yes. So someone goes to the doctor and then a drug is prescribed. Yes. And then a pharmacist should be actually able to read the prescription yes. and know what to give. What to offer. But we don't have that in most of our gyms. That's, that's <laughs> a problem. And even viewers at home, I just want to educate you that when you walk into a facility, there's, you need to do a fitness assessment. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the trainer needs to do a fitness assessment so they know your entry level. Where are you coming into the gym? Because right. most people will come into the gym after there's been a warning sign All right. from their medical checkup. Ah. Very few will just walk in and say, I feel like I need to do something for. So a, a majority of them, let's say 60%, will walk in because the doctor, mm -hmm. that's why the younger people, when you tell them to exercise, uh, they tell you, me, I'm still young. Or if someone who has a small body will tell you, uh, why do I need to go to the gym? It's because of the misconception that people have. You know, But it's important to understand that as it, it's, it's something that you need as a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But also to the trainer, they need to be knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. And even to the client as you walk in. Because most people, some have even got injured in the process. You're going into a gym to look for a solution. All right. But you come out worse. You've made your condition even worse than sure, you sure. walked in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's something we spoke about you know, before the show began. Yes, and yes. I think it's something that we also need to elaborate a little bit more for the yes. sake of our viewers. Yes. Uh, you are telling me that right now in Kenya, we are in the process of having an association for this kind of thing. Yes, yes, yes. There's, uh, as all other professions, mm -hmm. they have to come together mm -hmm. under one body to be able to speak in one voice. Mm -hmm. So in the process, as uh, I'm, I'm glad that I'm the chairman of the association. All it's right. a fit, Fitness Professionals Association of Kenya, okay. short as FITPAC. Okay. So FITPAC is registered under the sports ministry mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. because of fitness all right yeah you know there's <laughs> because a, of the term fitness because of the term fitness uh -huh. when someone hears fitness sports it's sports yes mm -hmm. but the fitness has two categories to it eh? mm -hmm. there's one fitness for health yes these are the majority of people walking to the gym who mm -hmm. come in looking for the trainer all right. and there's fitness for the sports person who wants to improve on their performance, performance. so these are two categories that mm -hmm people don't seem to understand. Mm -hmm. So on behalf of the fitness for health, the fitness trainer, mm -hmm. these fitness trainers, you get into, you walk into a gym and they're the ones who are doing the class, they're the ones who will take you through personal training. Mm -hmm. This is the association that we have of fitness trainers, but it's open to even guys who are in other sports right. who are also doing fitness to mm -hmm. join. Okay, yeah. Yes, you could be a swimming trainer, you could be, you need to, the knowledge as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also having, being together helps so that you gain knowledge from the others. From the others yeah. Yes, so in the process, we have the acknowledgement letter okay. from the sports ministry. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it's taken too long, uh -huh. and this is an <laughs> As important... Is the, the norm. But mm. should, we shouldn't accept it that way. Yes. Anyway, yeah, proceed. <laughs> but we won't give up. We won't give up in the process, and we are halfway there because we have the acknowledgement letter, which allows us to... The mandate, we have the mandate to perform. All right. So we are registered under the sports ministry under... There's a sports act, eh? okay. but we are under the Kenya Academy of Sports. All right. That's where fitness is. Mm -hmm. So the policies that are supposed to regulate fitness, it's not yet clear because okay. there's some amendments that need to be done and it has to be gazetted. Exactly. So we have to wait for the public hearing to air our views mm -hmm. as, as the stakeholders because mm -hmm. we play a very big part. Sure. Our goal is to work with doctors. We want to work with the doctors, with the hospitals, we want to work with schools, we want to work with institutions, we want to work with the community. Sure. You know, just teach people. I'm very glad with what's going on with the Zoez in Tani. That's a very good initiative because people are able to work out for free as a community. As a community, yeah. Yes. And also to create the awareness, the need for fitness. There like needs to you be, mentioned, yes. many young people think, I don't need fit. You know, it's leisure for, because, for young people. It's just leisure. But yeah. that's how it's been. I mean, if, if you see guys going to the gym, you go like, ah, do I love a gym? Yes. And that's been the norm. There's a quote eh, <laughs> to a gym. Eh? But uh, let me let me draw you back a little. Yes. Why is it important? Because as you mentioned, you have a degree in this sports science. Yes. Why yes. is it important for? I mean, this is a course that not many people know about, is it? It's it's. It's even parents discourage their own kids when they decide I'm going to campus and I want to do exercise and sports science. Mm -hmm. or I want to do a course in physical education. They like sports. I want to <laughs> do a course in sports and recreational management. Mm -hmm. And parents 
I've spoken, I got a chance to mentor most of the students from Kenyatta University yes. because um, I went to school when I was from the field already. Oh, so okay. with that knowledge, then you see young men who are even confused oh. because their parents don't understand, sure. you know. And the parents should let their kids be free to decide for themselves. Mm -hmm. If someone is passionate, and that's the awareness you want to raise, if mm -hmm. someone is passionate because sports and health is Huge. very big industry Huge. that also needs people who are knowledgeable yes. to be able to impact, to give that knowledge to the layman, to the viewer who's at home. Yes. Most of us will ask, oh, Phil, I just want to read my stomach. Oh, Phil, I have a back problem. Oh, Phil, I have a knee issue. But you see, without the trainer, if the trainer is not knowledgeable, mm -hmm. then they will not be able to, to give you that, the right, the right direction. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that people need to go to school. Mm -hmm. If you can't do the degree, it might be very costly. Mm -hmm. We have schools, we have schools that, in Kenya there's some that have come up, All there's right. a, the there's Zoezi Institute, mm -hmm. there's Alison, right. there's Kenyatta University, which is now major if you want to major into the degree level. Okay. Then you can start even at diploma level and, 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 and proceed eh? so it's very important mm -hmm. it is very important and even the trainers who are not knowledgeable mm -hmm. the aim of feedback is to give you the awareness but also offer workshops and educate the mm -hmm. trainer so that they are knowledgeable and we also want to work with the schools we partner and make sure this is a very good trainer sure. we have trainers who are very good in the practicals mm -hmm. but they lack the theory, the theory they don't understand the science behind it ah. so it's important that we all come together and work for the sake of the synergy, client, yeah. for the sake of the viewer at home. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, having <laughs> said that, uh, nowadays when you talk to people about uh, gym, yes. I, I mean, when you walk around Kenya, you realize one thing. It's evident that Kenyans are more aware yes. of, their f of the yes. importance of being fit. Yes. So in the mornings and evenings, yes. you'll meet with couples or individuals just jogging you'll find more people enrolling to gyms and stuff like that. But then there are many myths that surround fitness, gym, especially and those who are deep into weights yes. and stuff. Yes. That is myths that, you know, don't do too much weight. I mean, if you grow old, <laughs> then your body will, <laughs> you won't even be able to wake up from your sleep. Maybe yes. you can also touch on that. Elaborate on that. Eh? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. And it's very commendable that Kenyans are actually taking care of their health. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed in the morning when I'm going to work and I see people on the road yeah. running as couples, mm -hmm. running together. Yeah. It's very good. Mm -hmm. But let's not wait until the last minute, until you've been told by the doctor. <laughs> that's when you, yeah, yeah. you start. It's an investment. It's All more right. like paying for insurance. All right. You start early, mm -hmm. you take care of your body, your body will take care of you. All right. Yes, and that misconception about even ladies say lifting weights will make me bark like a man. Oh, yeah, like a man yeah. No, <laughs> they don't want to be masculine. I mean, they want to preserve men, that. Men have the, the the hormone, the growth hormone, testosterone, more of that, and okay. that allows us to build muscle faster. Okay. Uh, but ladies need the weight because of the bone mineral density. You know, mm -hmm. uh, through the menses, mm -hmm. they lose a lot of and nutrients and they lose a lot of calcium. You know, so. If you study, and even the viewers can attest to this, eh? yes. either our moms, our grandmas from 50s, 60s, they start to have bone issues. If it's not arthritis, it's osteoporosis. Okay. For the men, it goes the other way. It's high blood pressure, diabetes. So it's, it's because of all oh, this. Yes, so women lead weights. Uh -huh. There's actually five components. Let me educate. Yeah. There's five components to fitness, mm -hmm. which are very important. Mm -hmm. There's flexibility. Mm -hmm. That one we lose as we age. All right. A young child can crawl, run, do, do everything. Stuff. Eat their toes. Yes, because <laughs> they're very flexible. Very flexible yeah. But as we grow older, the older we are, we lose our flexibility. Sure. Yes. Then there's a body composition. Mm -hmm. This is the percentages of fat and muscle in our bodies. Mm -hmm. eh? So the more muscle, the better, because even your metabolism is, is oh, eh? the more fat, you don't need it, even as an athlete. With more fat, that's extra weight you have to carry you around. Have to cut it off. Mm. Yes, that's why even with the guys who are a bit overweight, even just the stairs, mm. uh, you, it's a lot of, because it puts pressure on your heart. Ah. Yes? Let's say your heart is the size of your fist. Uh -huh. Then you've added 20 kilos on top. So oh. that's, uh, it's like a, a car with a small engine. Then, a big body. Yes. Oh. So that puts pressure on the heart. Okay. 
So that's very important that we, we try and, and, and have more muscle in our bodies than yes. the fat. Yes. Yes. And there are tests you can do to just get the percentages. All right. And also there's, um, that was flexibility and body composition. Body composition. Then, then there's two. Mm -hmm. That's uh, muscular strength. Mm -hmm. That's how much weight you can lift. All and right. that's these bodybuilders, uh -huh. the guys who lift the weight. They, they are very good in that mm -hmm. component of fitness. Uh -huh. Their muscular strength is very good. Right. Athletes also need it. Uh -huh. But when you come to the, there's one more. But before that, I'll talk about this muscular strength and muscular um, endurance. All right. Endurance. That's, that's how many how times man, how many times or how you can do the sit-up. No, no. Uh -huh. The weight is the strength. All right. How much weight you can lift uh -huh. in one go. In one go. These are the strong men who... I can lift 200 kilos. 200 kgs. Yes, well. uh -huh. yes. There's even competitions for that. Yeah, There's a strongman competition. That, yeah. And Kenya is picking up very well. Uh -huh. We have very good athletes. Uh -huh. But also, so there's muscular endurance, which is how many times you can do the sit-up. Right. How many times you can do a pull-up uh -huh. using your own weight. How many times you can do a push-up. Right. How many push-ups can you do in a minute? That's a good test to know your muscles can endure that oh, right. much. Then the most important mm -hmm. is the cardiovascular, cardiovascular. endurance, mm -hmm. cardiorespiratory endurance. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I'll use a simpler term. Mm -hmm. Cardiorespiratory refers to your heart and lungs, mm -hmm. their efficiency. How efficient are they? Are they working well? Yeah. Because the moment your heart starts to strain, mm -hmm. The moment your system starts to strain, right. your veins are constricted because of fat. Okay. So that's when conditions come up. This is when the stroke issues, this is when the high blood pressure, this is when the diabetes, type 2. Yeah, type yes, coming. most of these lifestyle diseases right. come because of that cardiorespiratory endurance. Oh. That's very important. Uh -huh. And this can be done through repeated movements. Okay. Let's say running, jogging, mm -hmm. swimming, cycling for duration. Right. 20 minutes to 30 to one hour. So it's basically what we see many Kenyans picking up today. Yes. But then they need to be educated more on that. They need the strength. They need the flexibility. So that's why you need to stretch after your workout. I want you to hold that thought because yes. we're going to take a very short break and then we'll be back. Vera, if you're just joining us, you're watching The People Show. Today with us in studio, we have Philip Namasaka who is the director and founder of the Phil Fitness Center. He's giving us quite a lot of education about our fitness and our body health. And we take a short break. If you have any comments, suggestions, or opinion, you can send that to our SMS line. That's 21144. is the number. You can also drop us an email on info at gbskenya.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also watch this very episode on YouTube. We'll be right back after this. But Welcome back. If you are just joining us, you're watching The People Show here on the channel that gives you viewing beyond the limit, GBS TV. Today with us in studio, a very special guest, Philip Namasaka, director and founder of Phil Fitness Center. Phil, yes, right before the break, you just broke down the five, you call them five? Five components of fitness. Five components of fitness. Yes. Many Kenyans are becoming more aware of their fitness. Yes. And then in the first half, of course, we spoke about the do's and don'ts. Yes. And what some of our fitness trainers yes. don't do right. Yes. Uh, you run a fitness center. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that and where you guys are located. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to have got some entrepreneurship skills from my mom, who's mm -hmm. been a business lady for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of the passion for fitness, my partner and I we've set up a facility fitness center that's located in garden estate mm -hmm. so when you're from town it's off thicker road mm -hmm. yes you the balozi drive All just right. before the naivas mall mm -hmm. off balozi mm -hmm. it's balozi drive then um, right after mm -hmm. on your left mm -hmm. right after sunstar hotel All right. yes we are located there mm -hmm. this is our fourth month 
Okay. And it's, it's, it's a very good facility. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very shocked when people walk into a gym and all they ask is, where are the machines? Oh. Yes, and they never <laughs> ask, do you have good trainers? Do, right. They never ask, uh, they never even want to try. Mm -hmm. All they want to look for is the machines. Mm -hmm. and, and business people have taken advantage of that. Eh? Yes. Most people who have the money, have it, the machines are quite costly. Right. They've invested in the machines and then they look for a very, very cheap, cheap trainer. Cheap. Yeah. So people go there and pay so much, yeah. and then yeah, they get yeah, a road yeah. deal for it. Eh? Oh. Uh, but it's very important that um, you make it a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's not about the facilities. Yes. It's not about the, complex, it, the complexity of the workout. Mm -hmm. The simpler the workouts, because these movements are very basic. Mm -hmm. Yes, just concentrating on our muscles. Mm -hmm. If you know your upper muscles, I have like 10 major muscles. Yes. I know my lower body has my lower leg, mm -hmm. I have the quadriceps, I have the hamstrings, mm -hmm. I have the arms, mm -hmm. bicep, tricep, I have my shoulders, mm -hmm. I have my chest and back. Mm -hmm. So a program basically should just try and focus on and how all this, all the this, balancing. the balancing of the muscles and also the cardio respiratory and yes, that the I one that you mentioned yes. later, which you said is yes. most important. It's very important. Uh -huh. So once a program should be all, at least include all the five components, mm -hmm. it should be inclusive, eh? mm -hmm. but also key thing is to try and make it a lifestyle. Fitness should be fun. Right. You know, you don't want to walk <laughs> into a gym and, and you assume you're walking into a military camp. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Where it's no nonsense. <laughs> yes, and most people have gone into gyms <laughs> and after two, three sessions, or even after a month, they mm -hmm. give up. Sure. But our goal at Fit Fitness Center is to make this a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we want to encourage you as you walk in. We want to teach you, let's say six months down the line and you have to travel mm -hmm. and you will not be in the same area. Right. Wherever you go, oh, you with the basics, yes, with the basics that we've put, we've taught you, mm -hmm. you can go to whatever place you are, maybe out of the country, right. and still continue. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're in a situation where you don't have the facilities, you yes. don't have, and you are, you have to exercise. Sure, sure. With the basics, you know, just using your body weight, mm -hmm. yeah. So at fitness, we have more of what we call functional training. All right. Functional in the in the manner that uh, our exercises are focused to help you carry on your daily activities mm -hmm. with ease. Mm -hmm. We call them activities of daily living, ADL activities. Activities eh? of, of daily, daily living, living. Uh -huh. ADL, uh -huh. yes. So you should be able to go to the supermarket and carry your shopping comfortably. Uh -huh. As a mom, you should be able to carry your baby, your uh -huh. newborn comfortably. Uh -huh. and yes, as a walk, uh -huh. go to the park. Uh -huh. Yeah, you should be able to wash your own car. Mm -hmm. You know, the small things. Sure. Play with the kids. Mm -hmm. eh? Most of us don't even do that anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. their bodies are no yes, longer that flexible. It's, it's, you find people taking their kids out and they go to a place where there's alcohol. Mm -hmm. So the parents are sitting down, mm -hmm. taking their thing, and they paid for the kids, kids to paid. go and play on the jumping castle. Or to it go shouldn't and be sit. that way. <laughs> Participate <laughs> with them. Uh -huh. Teach them. <laughs> <laughs> should teach our kids early yeah. enough. And yeah. that's one of the things that makes, also makes us stand out. Because Saturdays we have... Uh, challenges that start from 10. All right. But before that, we have a kid session. Okay. And even you have a kid's holiday program coming up whereby mm -hmm. you can bring your kid. Yeah, the for, kids come to gyms. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> now they have to do... Uh, the activities yeah, are quite the different. Activities yeah. are, uh, are quite, the activities are quite different. I have a daughter who loves the gym. She's six years old. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and every Saturday when I'm going to the facility, she has to come. She down. will be the first one to tell me mm -hmm. I'm not staying back. All right. Uh, on Sunday after church, uh, we have to go to the pool. So it should be like that. Let's encourage parents and, and the whole community mm -hmm. because even our slogan is a healthy community. Right. That's what we talk mm -hmm. about at Field mm -hmm. Fitness Center. Mm -hmm. So apart from that, we also have the assessments that we do All right. so that we know mm -hmm. uh, what's your goal, why are you here, All and right. where do you want to go. Mm -hmm. So we encourage you and we walk the journey with you. Then we also focus, it's a center because we also focus on mentorship. All right. Yes, we have young men who want to join the profession and we try and teach them the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. Because the years of experience, 20 plus 20 years plus of being years in the field. Leading, yeah. Yes, so that knowledge, because one thing mm, about our field, our industry, mm -hmm. it's physical. Yes. So there's a lot of wear and tear. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you must be very careful how you, your diet is, yes. you have to eat proper, mm -hmm. then you have to be disciplined. Eh? You know, we are also role models sure. because the clients want to do yeah, what you do. Exactly. They yes. look up to you and they say, yes. I want to be like. <laughs> yes. So we are also focusing on just bringing up. So we have a lot of interns that come in from even Kenyatta University, right. from people who are interested. Mm -hmm. And sometimes all you need is a passion. 
once you're passionate about something and you want to learn, we give people the platform to try and right, teach so them teach and them. teach them and lead them and guide them. Mm -hmm. So it's just more than a gym. Yeah, even it's some. A, it's a community. <laughs> it's, it's a community. By yes. Itself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, maybe speaking about that, you know, when before we started the show, we some somewhere along the way as we were talking, yes, we mentioned. Uh, Mickey Ragos. Yes. You know, these are legends. When you talk about fitness, when you talk about, you know, bodybuilding, people like Mickey Ragos, those are people that many youth, I think do, when Mickey Ragos was at his peak, yes. the peak of his career, yes. in the early mid 90s, yes. uh, I was a young kid, but then we all looked up to him and we were yes. like, that's the guy. Yes. In terms of, uh, you know, passing this to the next generation, and also allow, you mentioned something about mentorship. Yes. You know, how far have we gone, or how far can we go in encouraging such? Um, it's good you brought up the topic of Nicaragos because some people also say that when you lift weights and you grow yeah. old, then you'll die faster. <laughs> yeah, you die faster. Your body. Yeah. Yes, Ragos is a very good example. He's been a competitive athlete. He's an eight, ten time Mr. Kenya, Mr. Kenya back in the days, mm -hmm. and even his sons now compete even oh. abroad mm -hmm. he has two or three of his sons who are in the in the, in the, the, in the, in the same industry mm -hmm. and he runs his facility you go to dandora you'll find mickey ragos at 73. Oh. wakes up in the morning mm -hmm. does his workout and also trains also yes mm -hmm. you, so it's, it's it's a good investment when you look at the long term sure yes mm -hmm. but apart from that um, the mentorship there's been a problem in the industry mm -hmm. especially for trainers if i know a skill mm -hmm. I don't want to pass it on to the next person All right. because I don't want, uh, I want to be the star. Competition. Yes, I want <laughs> to be the star. If I'm a dance instructor, for example, mm -hmm. I want to keep the skill. Right. But we, most trainers forget that you won't dance for all your life. Yes. At some point, you have to you pass have to on pass this. this baton to yeah, else. so even when we started fitness, when I got into fitness, I remember trainers, if you're doing an aerobics class, you even want to lock the door. So Ooh. that no one can see your moves. Another trainer, oh, only the clients, because you know clients will not, clients uh, will not take it out there. Yes, mm -hmm. but you don't want even another trainer to come into your class. But one thing we forget is um, fitness is, was invented years back. Mm -hmm. Yes, all these movements, we only modify. All right. Yes, yeah, it just depends on how creative you are. Mm -hmm. And uh, preparing the next generation even makes the whole our country more active because if we have more guys who are knowledgeable yes. and you have more guys because we have a very good population in the country mm -hmm. and and you're not even enough trainers in the country to sure. take care of that <laughs> we need to go to machinani back yeah, there in the villages and educate yeah. even our, our parents even our grandparents mm -hmm. yeah just how active they can be because mm -hmm. it's it's a, it's it's in kenya people prefer to go to the bars in the evening because they they don't know that you can also go the gym could be your bar. Mm -hmm. You can go and unwind. You your yes. Stress, yeah. uh -huh. After a long day on the desk, uh -huh. on a computer, you can just go in and do something uh -huh. for an hour uh -huh. in a group of people who are like-minded. Oh, you know, right. you get connections. Sure. And also there's the release of the endorphins. End uh -huh. That's a feel-good hormone. Feel-good hormone, yeah. Uh, you, you see gym that, people, yeah. people, they're always active. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. trainer is always, you know, they're always in a good mood. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, it's because of the end of Do You guys, I mean, it, you mentioned it. Yes. I find it very interesting because these guys are always like, okay, they come to look at this client and they're like, yeah, they're smiling. They're just always happy. Now it's, that explains the yes, end of things. The end of things. Uh, the end of things. Uh, we all need it. We all need <laughs> that end of thing. You might have a stressful day with the work that you're doing. You have a project that you need to work. One of the best things you can do for yourself is just walk into a gym, do an hour session, right. just sweat. <laughs> Take it out. Yeah. It also allows you to sleep better at night, sure. you know, because uh, you go home. You're tired. Uh, your friend will call you. Ah, let's have Timothy. Let's have one too. You uh, tell him. Uh, well, was. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. Yes, um, I'm yeah, okay. Uh, let me just take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me have a good meal and let me rest. Because uh, uh, so it needs to be a lifestyle. At the end of the day, all the gyms out there, all the trainers out there, let's encourage our community. You know, as let's encourage all our people to be active mm -hmm. and healthy and also teach them to eat right. You know, let's eat the foods that we, we get from the farm. Uh, organic yeah. food. Yes, we rush and, and go to the shelves. And even some of us, it's a Kenyan thing. Yes. Uh, my, my kid will not live the way I live. Sure. Yes, 
Yeah. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, that's what and, we say. Uh, yeah. Fast food. Yes, that's yeah. what we say. And we rush to buy them. Food uh, and meals. Yes, mm -hmm. we rush and buy. You see the emergence of all these fast food stores. Nothing, no pun intended. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a business. Mm -hmm. But if you teach them early enough to eat healthy, mm -hmm. it goes a long way. Sure. In even them being aware of their health and taking care of their health. Mm -hmm. So that no, should be the goal. Time, time won't allow us to speak more, Phil. I would like us to go on and on and on yes, about this. Yes. But we have a about three minutes to yes. go, but then I would like to mention something that I almost forgot. Yes. Someone is at a prime age, 50, 60, and they need to do some workout. Yes. What kind of workout do you guys at Phil Fitness Center offer to such? Yes, people? yes, that's a good thing because we, we neglect our elderly. We call them seniors. You know, we mm -hmm. all get there. Yes. It's a journey of life, so sure. at some point we'll get there. Mm -hmm. But um, they can't do vigorous activity yes, like yes. when they were younger. Yeah. And most of them you'll find by that time they have knee replacements. Mm -hmm. By that time they have Back these lifestyle problems. conditions that come with age. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the best thing for them, we have a lunch hour class okay. for the seniors. Okay. But mostly it's just to encourage the mobility, All you know, right. movement. And if you can't make it to the gym, even if you have someone who's senior at home, take them for a walk. Take them for a swim. This is a simple way. Yes, simple. that helps them just clear. Oh, right. So for them, they don't need the weights a lot, mm -hmm. but a little bit of movement, resistant bands, a bit of flexibility, just to relax their muscles and allow them to sleep well. Most of them wake up at 3 o'clock yeah, to watch CNN. Yes, <laughs> because they're worried. Yeah. They've taken, they buried most of their friends. Sure. And they just, you know, when it gets dark, they get Those traumatized talks. because they are, I, I might not wake up. So it's just important to encourage them to be active, mm -hmm. to eat well, take good care of them, and they'll enjoy their senior years. Because they've retired, they don't want to stay at home and be assisted around the house all the time. <laughs> that's very true. Now, yes, Phil, yes. our time is up. Maybe the camera behind me, that's your camera. Just one straight minute. Yes. Your parting shot to our viewer, those who are watching this at home right now. Thank you for the chance, and uh, it's God's grace that I've come that far, but I want to encourage our community back at home. Just whatever you can do, you don't have to go to the gym, but whatever you can do to take care of your health. Remember what I mentioned, it's an investment. You're taking care of your body, it will take care of you later. So you're all welcome to Field Fitness Center if you have time, but you can also check our Facebook pages, our YouTube, you can also check our website on www.fieldfitnesscenter.org. Mm -hmm. All our pages is Field Fitness Center. There's Instagram, there's Facebook, there's YouTube. You can get, and you can also get in touch. Mm -hmm. Get in touch. We welcome you for the challenge on Saturdays if you have time. If you don't, come for our classes in the morning from 6 to 7. And if they, there's a lunch hour for seniors. So if you are 50, 60 plus, you're welcome, you're welcome. for that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the rest of us can come for the evening classes. We have classes from Monday to Friday, a variety of classes that run for a whole hour from 6 to 7. Mm -hmm. So. You're all welcome to our center and come enjoy and feel the fitness. Thank you very much. Viewer, you had it for yourself. Fitness is an investment. You take care of your body, your body will take care of you at your later age. So according to Phil's own words, it's like insurance. Well, viewer, we have come to the end of our show today. If you have any comments, suggestions, or opinion, any inquiries you'd like to make about this particular show, you can Reach us on our SMS line, 21144. You can also drop us an email on info at gbskenya.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's GBS TV Kenya. Until next time, thank you very much. I've been your host, Timothy Omundi. Philip Namasaka, thank you very much thank you very for much. coming to the show. Thank you for the opportunity. Karibu.